All right, guys, this is the updated install. So remove your uh, factory track bar, suspend it up so it's out of the way. If you're gonna run a shorty or you're gonna get the standard height version, this is a shorty. Or uh, if the standard height version, you're gonna run the bottom hole. You wanna self clearance this, or you're gonna clearance it. So just make it thinner that way that the, the nut um, can clear when it's on the back, okay? All right, guys. All right, guys. The next step: get the big crescent wrench, like a foot and a half long, and you're gonna basically get this around the bracket. You can make it tighter and everything, and you want to bend the bracket back until you have enough clearance to drop the back piece in. Okay. Let's say you over bend it. Um, the best thing to do is get the factory bolt right, and you're gonna basically suck this bolt up to where it bends it back in. All right. And then um, the next step would be to grab the wing nut that I include. The long, the nut's gonna be up. The long side's gonna go towards the front of the truck and you're gonna slip it in through the bottom opening and then you'll align the hole to this guy because that's where the plate will match up, all right? So the next step is to get the main factory OEM bolt and the front main bracket and you're gonna start to attach it. So I'll get about six to eight turns in on the factory bolt. Then I'll get the 30 millimeter uh, bolt that I include. And you're basically gonna do your best to try to grab that wing nut. Um, and then the next bolt is the 40 millimeter bolt that has a washer, okay? So make sure the washer's on there. You can get about six to eight turns on there. All right, the last thing you guys want to do is actually um, drop in the track bar, whether it be stock or aftermarket. Just make sure it's set to factory length, okay? And then what you're going to end up doing is you want to put Loctite on this nut, and then you want Loctite on this guy too as well. So basically when you put that in, Use blue Loctite. Um, this is gonna get torqued down to about 95. I want this one actually like at 120. You could put this one at 100. Uh, this one will be 95, all right? Um, that's pretty much it. After you got everything set and torqued, um, what I recommend is always to use like some type of like uh, marker so that you know exactly uh, if this thing moved or not. I use a uh, Revlock race supply like always. And then last thing is, uh, Oh, one thing that I wanted to mention before we stop this video is um, if you have a factory track bar or a track bar that has factory style joints, um, basically you want to make sure you loosen that bolt um, first and then start working on this thing and then tighten everything up, work on this thing, and then make sure you tighten that up at right height. All right. Thanks, guys.